Whether complimenting a meal, relaxing, or entertaining, cocktails and spirits can spark your dining and social experiences. Join celebrity tastemakers beyond the bar as we mix this week's liquid recipe for the sip. I'm Caitlin Monty, Beyond the Bar at Bathtub Gin here in the heart of New York City with David Laird, who's going to show us how to experience whiskey in a whole new way. David, I've heard of wine pairings, I've heard of beer pairings, I've never heard of a whiskey pairing. Yeah, it's something that's becoming really fashionable right now. We've got a really special single malt up there in Balvenie. One of the great things that goes really well with is chocolate, and they can bring out those notes that maybe they wouldn't find right away on their own. Before we nose and taste this, we're actually going to add just a little touch of water. It doesn't take a lot, and that'll actually help open up the whiskey, so you get all those amazing flavors. So let's give this whiskey a little nose. I always tell people to kind of keep it a little bit further away from your nose because you want to get all the flavor and none of the alcohol. It's very warm, caramely. The 12-year-old double wood, which a lot of people are familiar with, is very honey and vanilla, but as Balvenie gets older, it gets very decadent. I brought along four different types of chocolate for you. Try a chocolate that has the same flavors as the whiskey, or you can maybe take one that contrasts. So we have a spicy chili chocolate. Yeah. Or we have a very rich, dark 85% cocoa chocolate. So that one's going to give it more of a buttery taste. And then we have the toffee chocolate, and it'll bring out more of those toffee caramel notes. I would love to see what a spiced flavor does to this whiskey, because it's so sweet. I'm actually going to try this orange spice, and then we'll have a little taste of the whiskey. Whoa, I taste cinnamon, I now taste clove. It's so different. Yeah, we use a sherry cask to finish this whiskey, and you get a lot of those rich spices coming from like European oak cask. But I'm going to try my whiskey now. So what'd you get? The, the orange and spices in this one, it's kind of bringing out like an orange marmalade flavor. All your flavors and what you sense come from your experiences. So if you taste something, it reminds you of something in your childhood, you're probably right. I like how this takes whiskey into a culinary realm, perfect with friends or for a little self-indulgence. Scotch and chocolate's always a good time. <laughs> for more on how to experience whiskey in a whole new way, visit CelebrityTasteMakers.com. Plus, you'll get events, updates, and giveaways that take you beyond the bar. I'm Caitlin Monty, and until next time, here's to you from The Sip.